didn't believe any of it. But it's all true. Ah, they found me. That's right, folks, we're going to be playing Haunted Hotel Ancient Bane. I believe this is the sixth in the series, which is kind of crazy. Let's have a look at more games here, just out of curiosity. Uh, this is actually a game that's been developed by Elephant Games. I think the last two Haunted Hotels were done by Elephant Games, and they were done by a different developer before that. But yeah, these are your standard Elephant Games series here. Mystery Trackers, Grim Tales, Hollow Legends. Uh, it's funny how they don't have more, because I mean... They have a lot more games than that, that's for sure. Game series, indeed. So anyways, we're going to play this. Uh, I don't know too much about the story other than what I just saw in the opening cutscene. It looks pretty cool. There's definitely some sort of creepy hotel, and I like creepy hotels. Just like I like creepy asylums, and creepy hospitals, and creepy orphanages, and all that kind of old-style architecture. I love exploring these types of places. So, we have the collector's edition, so there will be bonus content here. Uh, I've got your standard extra play, got your cool wallpapers, your concept art, some music, achievements, a collection room. So I'm not exactly sure what we're doing here. Let's have a little quick peek here. Looks like it's kind of like Egyptian. So anyways, that's interesting. Maybe that's a motif in the game. We will find out. But enough of that. Let's play. Let's get into this. Let's have some fun. We have three different difficulty levels. We'll go casual, because can. The reopening of an old hotel caused an uproar. Bought by the little-known mechanical engineer, Abram Shadowy, it became very popular despite initial skepticism. In fact, Shadowy used the hotel's reputation as an asset, promising guests they'd see real ghosts. How's that for a good fright sleep? That can only backfire. <laughs> My friend, I need your help again. I've been asked to investigate a disappearance at a reportedly haunted hotel. I can't do it without you. James. Okay, James, I'm here to help. Oh, wow, pretty. After an hour aboard our little steamship, we finally arrived. This must be James. Hello, dear. It's so good to see you. I enjoy working with you, and more importantly, we make an excellent team. We do, do we? Okay. Oh, there's to continue. The owner of the hotel, a Mr. Abraham Shadowy, requested my help. Several of his guests have vanished. Okay. I'm not sure why our host isn't here to meet us. It's highly unusual. Eh, but no matter. We're adept to this sort of thing. Are we now? Okay. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Look at my briefcase for something we can use here. I'll get a look at that lock. This just makes me think that the last haunted hotel, I believe it was called Eclipse. I think that's what number five was. Uh, let's see. The strange owner hasn't greeted. Greeted? Come on, Gibbs, you can do better than that. Hasn't greeted us. Okay, so let's have a look here. You'll automatically record events and clues in your diary. Hey, it's a craven! Get back here! Whoa! <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting him to come at me now. Uh, I saw a shadow on my steamboat. Hey, what's with this, uh, Congo line of ants here? Is there like a... so somebody spilled a popsicle on the other side of that door? Potentially. It's latched from the inside, but the gap's not wide enough for my hand. Okay, so we can go ahead and open up our suitcase here. Our briefcase, sorry. Sparkles! Okay, so before we do that, I want to see what else is out there. Without a key, I'll have to improvise. Okay. Whoa! 
Was that a ghost? Good question. It's no surprise the lantern has gone dark. It's pretty wet here. Fair enough. How do I get into it though? That's a better question. Alright, let's go. Let's get into it. So this is uh, sort of my uh, appreciation for Elephant Games. It has a lot to do with their scenes. And the crisp art that goes into them is incredible. Large objects, very high def, and uh, certainly I appreciate it. Despite all predictions, Haunted Hotel is gaining popularity. Yeah, that's just asking for trouble. So let's go ahead and get cracking here. Whoa, we got achievement, yay! Just from randomly clicking, that's the way it works, folks. That's the way I work. <laughs> Lockpick. Oh, I see. That's what those little things are. Are they? Okay. Right there. Police badge. I thought I saw that. Whoops. That's not what I meant to do. Flashlight is right there. So we got one more lockpick. Now, where is it? I lean in real close. Maybe it'll become obvious. He's got little blood samples too. This must be his suitcase, right? The detective? James? I'm assuming he's some sort of detective. It definitely looks like an investigator's suitcase. Alright, lockpick. Time for you to come out from your hiding spot. Pretty please. I'll give you a popsicle. Oh, wow. Alright, cool. We have lockpicks. Uh, I just used the hit button. Nicely done. You found the lockpicks, and I have one more. Okay. Choose a unique lockpick from the set, and I'm sure it will do the trick. Alright, items lock with a plus. Oh, we gotta match these. That's neat. Music's thinking, I'm thinking the music's just a little loud. Okay, so hang on a second, game. I, the music just kind of crept up on me there. No, not menu. Ah, <laughs> uh, you'd think I've never played these games before. Alright, well hopefully it's not too quiet now with the music turned down, but uh... So now I'm feeling like it should... Ah, we'll wait for it to come up again. Alright, well, let's go inside. I'm not sure I want to go into this haunted hotel, whether it's fake or not. Birds! Ooh. Creepy birds. Looks like we're gonna need some sort of mesh for this? Yeah. Collect Coptic Jars. Collectible Coptic Jars are hidden throughout the game. When you pick one up, it's added to your collection. Okay. Interesting. But I don't... Okay, well, I have to. Th oh, okay. So these are actually empty. I see. Cool. Was that even morphing? I, I don't even know. I didn't notice. Hmm. I bet it's hiding a secret in there, and I bet it's a weeping angel from Doctor Who. Yuck! Keep your eyes on them. Don't blink. Looks like we're not going to be able to get in there. Ding dong. No. Nothing to do here. There's gotta be something to do here. Wait, where was that symbol? That symbol looks familiar. This place looks very mysterious. I, I can practically feel spirits through the walls. Why was I invited here? Yeah, good question. It's a note from an actual guest, or is it part of the show here? Good question. So, decoration, hmm. 
Uh, let's look at our map, if I can find it. This must be it. Let's have a look how this works out. So we have a player. Current task is over here. What was the green thing? No current task, okay. So I'm not seeing what we can do here yet. Yeah. Some kind of metal, but I don't have anything that would really make a difference. Hmm. I don't think that decoration goes there, no. Let's have a look. Something there. Oh, wow. But how am I supposed to light this up? Oh, I see. Glass leaf? That was really what I was supposed to find? Alright. Let's keep on looking here and see what else is going on. Definitely going to need something there. Just have a sneaky suspicion I'm missing something. Oh, nothing there either. And I don't think there's anything back here. The glass is for here, I know that. A screw, a feather duster, and a decoration. I wonder if the decoration will work here. Uh... No? No such luck for that. Hmm. Oh wait, something's down here. Hello! A marble! Can we feather dust that? No? Why do I need a marble? Good question. I think we'll go and put this in play right here. There we go, let there be light. Got some light. Oh, that's where that was. Now I remember. Ah, yeah, let's light things up. Looks like there's something in the water here, so we'll need that net for that. And we need to make a cast out of that sand impression. Okay. I feel like I've got a purpose now. Good, good. And we still can't get that out of there. But we have a net, so let's just go ahead and deal with that first. Wait. Oh. <laughs> oh, where did you come from? Holy cow. <laughs> Great. I can't wait to see Abraham. It was Abraham. By the way, I found this while exploring the area. I want you to have it, my friend. It is what? Whoa, what is this thing? It is... We are doing an Egyptian theme. Oh, cool. Thousands of years ago, the travelers expelled the darkness with the amulet of light in his hand and bravery in his heart. He defeated the tyrant, but then the amulet was lost, awaiting its rebirth. I bet the amulet... The light amulet James gave me dates all the way back to ancient Egypt. I should find the rest of the pieces. Cool. A marble. I don't know if that marble goes here. No? Alright. Wasn't sure. Time to go fishing. For a handle? What is that? It is a bell clapper. Use that to get in here. With the creepy ants. Haha. <laughs> Endless line of ants. Ding dong. So wait a minute, who actually opened the door? It just opened itself? Oh, here he is. Hello. Detective, I'm glad you're here. I'm eager to get to the bottom of this. <clears throat> we were expecting you, detective. But you shouldn't have brought your assistant. Okay. That was strange. Hey, that was Abraham Shadowy, the owner of the hotel. He's supposed to be well respected, an engineer. <laughs> I'm an engineer. I, I don't run around buying haunted hotels. But he's acting strangely, don't you think? And where did he go? Let's split up so we can find him at once. Fair enough. 
teams. That's right, we can cover more ground if we split up. Okay, so let's have a look here. Just received a letter from my dear friend Jane. It seems several people have gone missing from the popular haunted hotel. A man named Abraham Shadowy owns it. This place looks very mysterious. I can practically feel spears through the walls. Why was I invited here? Yeah, we read that one away. Uh, okay. Mr. Shadowy disappeared in thin air the moment we entered the hotel hall. Oh, I can't tell if it's all a publicity stunt or something more sinister. The hotel owner's so strange. I'm curious about this story, and yet I don't trust that man one bit. Yeah, no, I don't think I would trust him either. Feather duster is probably what we need up here. Ah, oh, darn broken scissors. It's caked on pretty heavy. I'll need some turpentine or something to get it off. I need a rope. Rope a dope. I could lift this using the pulley. Oh, I see that I have to tie that on first. Okay, cool. Looks like we're going to need a knife here. Or scissors, which we don't have. A spring. I need to trim these branches somehow. Trouble everywhere. Hello. We have ourselves a This bug. mechanical scarab is my greatest invention yet. It's like having an extra set of hands. How did I get along without him? Unfortunately, he became damaged during an experiment, but I don't have time to repair him right now. I love how that's voiced. It's so cool. Okay. Well, I have a spring, though. But I guess I need a cover now? Where did that cover go? Huh. Anyways, we have this some sort of book here. Some sort of strange phone. Well, we have a magnet, so we can go back out and find out what was hidden in the steps here. Well, if it will let me. There we go. I think that's going to be part of our scarab friend. Yeah, hello, scarab. What can I do for you? I don't know. Chase the ants or something? What do I need to do with you? Open the map. Okay, I'm opening the map. Choose any unlocked location to instantly move there. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to go here. Uh, I don't know. Oh! Maybe he can get the rope? Oh no, he fits through the door. He's a flying bug! I didn't know scarabs could fly. Of course, I didn't really know much about them in the first place. Neato. <gasps> wow, we get to keep our little scarab? So cool. He's my scarab buddy. I don't know, James, you're kind of losing your spot here. Most of the boat ride was picturesque, but these are in this area which just screams haunted house. Okay, well, I do have a marble. And a scissor. I need a... Oh, no, I do have that. Aha! I fixed my scissors. So we need a star for that. Uh, plaster, okay. We have something locked there. Quill that's missing. Um, obviously something fits here. Fair enough. So, what else can we do in here? don't think there's much else to do, although why is there like all this stuff on the wall here? Hmm. Okay folks, we're out of time, but we'll be back for more Haunted Hotel. I'm your Gibbs. Let me know what you think of the game so far, we'd love to hear all your thoughts down in the comments below.